What's up guys? Welcome to another Build It Break Garage episode. Today's episode, we start work on a new little project that uh, I have going in my head. I currently am officially laid off from General Motors, so I should be cranking out some more videos a lot faster, hopefully. Part of the reason why I'm starting this new project is to have a car that I can drive for long distances that is comfortable and it'll get me from point A to point B. I'm not gonna be like super slammed or anything like that, even though we are putting lowering springs on it, but it's just springs, not coilovers. So the first thing I'm doing this morning is I just came out and I'm gonna have to get all the cars on to, Jesus Christ, bird just flew it in the window. Um, I'm gonna have to get the battery charger out here because I can almost guarantee you this is the project car we're working on today. And I'm pretty sure it's dead. This is what we're starting with. It's gonna be a pretty ratty build. It should look pretty cool when we're done though. I've got some plans for it. You guys will see that come along throughout the video. First things first, I'm gonna get these battery chargers hooked up and then I gotta go get breakfast. Okay, just like that, got the battery charger hooked up. So next thing is to throw the 240 on the charger because that almost certainly is also dead. That way I got, because I'm gonna have to move, I'm gonna have to shuffle all these cars around to be able to start working on the other one. So I'm gonna get Joey's car on the charger and then uh, I'm heading out for breakfast and I'll check in with you guys when I get back. Okay, and just like that, got Joey's car onto the charger. Next thing to do is open up the garage, which I don't think you guys have ever seen me open up the garage before, but this is how I do it. I have a center latch here. Turn that, open that. I have foot wheels right there. And then on each door, I have another latch. And then pull the whole thing open. The same goes for the other side. Latch, open. But this one I'm actually gonna have to prop open because it likes to close on its own. So stick this big ass thing in front of it. Okay, well, uh, cold start up on the uh, red sled. Okay, well now with that running, I'm gonna go ahead and run and go grab breakfast and then I will be seeing you guys back here at the garage. All right guys, well, just got done with breakfast, got myself a nice cup of coffee and a donut. This is, the cars have been on the charger for probably about an hour or so now. Let's see if this thing starts. It's all hooked up. Hey, she works. Cool. Well, that's uh, mission accomplished on that. Hey, right, well, now that I got this car running, I got to do all the shuffling around of cars. And I also have to run back out to the store to get some, I have to run to Harbor Freight to get a three jaw pulley puller because I'm going to try to pull off my aftermarket steering wheel hub that I have. And I also am going to McNabs, which is a hardware store local to me. And I need some L aluminum. I'm running low and I need to restock. So I'll see you guys at Harbor Freight. I just uh, stopped at McNabb's, it was a really quick trip, grabbed some L aluminum, and now I'm at AutoZone. I just picked up an idle air control valve for the car, because that's a problem it had, so hopefully that'll, the new one will fix it. And now I'm heading to Harbor Freight to get a three jaw pulley puller, so let's go get that. Just got out of Harbor Freight Tools, got a three jaw pulley puller, a steering wheel hub remover, and some zip ties. So now to get back to the garage and start shuffling cars around, get the new daily driver into the garage and start working on it. Okay, got the red sled up front. Time to move Midori. So, cold start on Midori. Now for the uh, cold start everybody wants to hear. We gotta move the 240 out of the way so I can get these cars out of the backyard. Cold start on a 5.3 turbo LS. sounded good I love that car but now that we got it moved now I can move the silver car 
and then we'll start work on the other car but first things first this car needs to get on regular wheels instead of my winter wheels so I don't destroy them in the while they sit I'm gonna pull the silver car out and we're gonna do a wheel swap on it real quick before we pull it out and start working on the other car okay got the silver car in the garage as you can see and it's a good thing we're switching out these tires because this one is flat, is what I was worried about. So I'm gonna throw on my junk wheels. I'm also gonna pull the radio out of this because this is gonna go in the other car. And we're also swapping the battery from this car to the other car too because this battery that's in the silver car is practically new. I just got it a couple weeks ago. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done now. Okay, and just like that, got the tires changed over. These are just basically scrap wheels that I don't care about with shitty tires on them. They can sit in the dirt all day and I really don't care about them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the radio out and then I'm gonna swap the battery over with the other car. And just like that, we are done with the silver car. It is ready to get out of here. And we're ready to bring in the new car to work on. So the fun begins now. Okay, and now I got the car in the garage. Uh, I had to find my Eibach lowering springs. And luckily I did find them. They were in uh, the parts car in the back. I got this hunk of shit in the garage. Now it's time to get to lowering it and then uh, throwing the 17s on that I have for it. I'm also swapping out the trunk. I got the rear lip to put on, the back bumper that actually is for the car. And I've got the body kit that's going on. And I gotta clean these up with the power washer before I uh, stick them up. And this needs to be zip stitched back together. But I might go ahead and get started on that. And uh, first things first, I gotta get the car up in the air and get the wheels off. Okay, well, as you can tell from the time lapse, I got the car in the air and I got all four struts off. So now I have to switch them out with the iBox springs and reinstall. I already got the wheels ready to go too. So we're this much closer to lowering this thing. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, got all the springs swapped over. Got all the eye box on the struts. I had to find my spring compressors for the front so that I could get them on, which turned out to be a hassle because I tucked them in a corner somewhere not thinking I'll ever use them again. I got them on, so now it's time to get back on the car, get the wheels on, and lower it to the ground. Okay, and like that, I have all four struts installed. They're all in the car. And man, I forgot how much of a pain, I forgot how much of a pain in the ass it is to do those rears. They suck trying to get the angle right. But I got them, I had to loosen the trailing arm and luckily it bolted back up. Cause that's, well, I was worried that I was gonna screw with it and it wasn't gonna bolt back up, but it did. But now I'll get the wheels on, get it on the ground. And I think that's gonna be it for this video. So let's get the wheels on and see how she looks on the ground.
All right, well, I got all the wheels on, got all the tire pressures checked, and got, I just took it for the first test drive. It rides great. Like, I can drive that thing every day now. It sits perfectly for a daily driver. I don't need it to go any freaking lower than that. And with these tires that being a little bit bigger than normal are actually helping, so it looks really good. I'm gonna keep the appearance mods uh, for our next video. This, doing the springs and everything whooped me, especially getting those back ones on. But appreciate you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you made it all the way through, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. And uh, we'll get uh, some more videos coming out pretty soon later this week, hopefully. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.